Judge. Judge. One of the best Judge. in the business, Mr. Dan Moverheady, about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Matthew Moya in the black with white trim. Cornelius Aratonang in the light green. Not much of a height difference here, I believe. Moya just an inch taller, but he does look slightly rangier. Big overhand there for, uh, right from uh, Aratonang. Looking nice early on. Check hook right hand down the pipe. Chris Carley's been out there in San Diego for the past few months working on the tie boxing with these guys. Yeah, it looks good so far. Moya just a little bit flat footed at the minute. I don't know if it's been the weight cut or. But looks relatively stiff at the minute, so. Maybe it's a feeling that process for him. Nice low kick there by Aratonang. Mixing up the shots nicely here, keeping Moya guessing. Really nice. Remember the check hook went up top for the left kick. Trying that high kick again. Yeah, it does it nice off a fake check hook, follows through, and then just comes up with a power back, uh, power front kick, I should say. Aratonang, incredibly, just 22 years of age. Now, what an experience it must have been for him to leave his village in Indonesia, travel to San Diego. He's been living and training full-time, getting paid to train, training under elite coaches with the MMA Fight Academy. If, am I correct in saying he made his debut in Rome at the start of the year? Yeah, absolutely. It was uh, May 6th in Rome this year in, it, in uh, Italy. Unanimous decision over Gianluca Ancora, Cage Warriors 154. Looking like a different fighter almost, I'd say, Paul. Million percent. I just remember I remember his face. I don't rem remember the whole fight, but uh, he's looking good here. Moya's starting to wake up here after a couple of shots. Right hand just landed from Maritone. Cornelius' corner saying they wanted to see a bit more belief. They want him to have faith in those skills he's picked up. Seems to be lunging in with that check hook right hand. Um, the whole fight so far, I would like to see him just use the jab a little bit more. The low kicks are great, stick with it, but just more of it. What his coaches are saying, just more, more, more. Bigger volume. That left hook is finding a home. Yeah, Moy's going to have to be very careful. Still looking pretty static now. He's mixing it up a little bit. Moya, 35 years of age, a lot of experience in combat sports. As we say, that high-level amateur background. A little cut over the, uh, the eye there from Moya. I don't know if uh, out of town is going to target that now the rest of the fight, but it's certainly cut. Side kick there from the Frenchman. Moya obviously coming from a striking background himself, but hasn't really opened the box of tricks too much here in this first round. 30 seconds left to play with, though. I mean, he has got skills. I mean, he can throw up a high kick, and we've seen him throw a side kick to the face, so it is there in the bag, but he's got to do something. Big shot here from Aratona. Wobbled him there. Can he capitalize on this? 15, 15. 
Looks start. like Moyer's got his wits back about him. That's a good round for Cornelius Aratona in my book. What's the advice going into this second right. round? I wonder, I know you said he's coming from a striking background, which he, we've already said he, he must have because he has shown up some certain kicks and, you know, he has got the flexibility for a head kick and stuff. But if I'm his coach, let's uh, let's try the wrestling. Let's let's go to the ground. What's his ground game like? Has he got, has he got one? Because um, at the minute here, he's just getting beaten up on the feet. There's a right hand there from Moya. We'll give our colleague Dan Strauss thing to talk about. I was going to well. say, yeah, if it goes to the ground, <laughs> I'll be able to talk. The man's absolutely <laughs> stealing a living here. I'm sure you've tried to punch a tail in your day, Dan. Never on purpose. Dips to the body there, there's Moya. Here's a takedown attempt, catch the kick. Dan was ready to pounce around with the mic. <laughs> nice little elbow from Maratona in there. On the break. Moya yes. going back to that side kick. He seems to be uh, easing it in, in, himself into this round a little bit more. Um, I, I think he's in half a gear. I don't even think he's hit force gear yet. He's going to have to up the tempo at some point, otherwise this one will start to run away from him. 90 seconds into the second round here. So kick again. Um, yeah, Aratonang is just playing a nice game here. He's tipping away, he hasn't really... I mean, it, 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 there's venom in some of the shots. Attempt to take down attempt here from Moya. Yeah, more looking for that takedown now. That was a good call from you in between those rounds, Paul. Not having huge success in the striking, so when given the opportunity, he's going to try and grapple a little bit here, and even just to slow down his opponent a little bit. But so far, uh, Aritonan doing a pretty good job of separating here and just defending against that quite easily. There we go. That's a much better clinch position. And it hits the ground. He's got plenty of time to work here, straight in the side control. And it looks like uh, Aratonang is going to try and turn in the wrestle up out of this position. And he's got to watch his neck as he does so. Moya looking like he's tying up a, tying up a Darce here. Do you call it Darce or Bravo? Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Depends what day of the week it is. On Saturdays, it's a Darce. The weight well, does have a Darce choke and an Anaconda choke on his record. So Aratonang is going to have to mind his P's and Q's here. I mean, he's in a pretty good position, and he's kind of using that right-hand uh, wizard position as a bit of a threat. It's stopping Aritonang from, from from coming up and really exposing himself too much. It's giving him a lot more to think about here. I don't like if I, if I'm trying to put the submission on from a, da a dash position on. I hate doing it from half guard. Yes. There is people who can't finish it and have got that physical strength. I mean, long, longer people, and, and Moyer's a longer guy. And I, I think that the hands are just a little bit shallow, especially when you've got those MMA gloves. You've got to be in a really deep position, and and, and, and he's not quite fine in that position, and it gives uh, Aratonang the ability to stand back up here. Great work from Aratonang there, listening to his coaches, followed the instructions to fight the hands and able to get back on his feet. Yeah, if I was Moyer in that position, I'm definitely going to try and land some ground and pound over looking for the submission, considering how far down on the scorecards he's going to be at that point. Big elbow there from Aratonang. Does like those elbows. Oh, no! Oh, the other one's to the body! He's at it! Looking to finish here! Moyer with a bit of guard work. And him back up. Pulling him back to the feet. And that body shot crumpled him. He's going to do it again, exactly. This is great work, no shot for Moya. Moya's looking in a bad spot here. And it's over! Cornelius Aratonang, victorious here in Newcastle. What a finish from RJ. And there's that first body shot that absolutely folded Matthew Moya. Moya clearly compromised. There's that second body shot. Took it in again. 
ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Daniel Moverhead, he calls a stop to this contest after four minutes and 12 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, Cornelius Arjun Arizona.